Hi everybody, welcome back to class. It's Mark and today is Friday, September 2nd. Labor Day weekend is at hand. I hope everyone has a great time over the three-day holiday weekend. This might be one of the more important videos that I record for this class because as we will discuss, this week you'll be submitting a topic proposal. And that topic proposal is very important because all of the persuasive essays you will be writing in this class will be on the same topic. So we will be using the same topic to write a Rogerian essay, a Toulmin essay, etc. So you've really got to pick your topic well. It has to be a topic that is of personal interest to you and one that you will enjoy writing and researching about. There's nothing worse than trying to write an essay on a topic that you are indifferent to. So my point is, let's pick carefully. So I'm going to jump into class session three and I also include in this video a sample topic proposal for you to look at. I think it's a, a good one that you can follow as a guide. I'm going to get into session three folder. And there's a fair amount of reading for this week, not as much writing. And as I've mentioned before, this course is heavy on the reading at the front end and not so much writing and a lot of writing on the back end and not so much reading. So your readings are here in the readings folder. And I'm not going to open these up because I know you will, but make sure you go through all of them. Make sure you watch videos when they are included, and I think a lot of students find it helpful if you print your readings. You don't have to, but it's suggested. Before we talk about the topic proposal, there is one discussion board. No one has posted as of today, and I'm a little early on this video, so that's fine. But the discussion board is about a positive solution to plagiarism within a classroom. How would you resolve the problem? And physical violence probably isn't an answer because this is supposed to be a positive solution. And notice that this is a link, so you can open that and there'll be further discussion about this topic. You need to post your own thread regarding what your positive solution might be. Excuse me and then respond to two other students regarding the same topic. So let's open the instructions for submitting your topic proposal and after that I will show you the example, the sample one. And both of them are listed here. This one, the bottom one, is the sample. It's from another student in a previous class that I did. And I won't say it's a perfect topic proposal, but it's a pretty good one. But let's look at the instructions first. not sure why this is showing split screen. Oh well, we'll go ahead anyway. And the first thing I want to point out to you is this is not an essay. It is a proposal. You're simply going to tell me what the subject is, why you were interested in it, and how you plan to research it. And as it states, you'll be writing an annotated bibliography on your subject, a classical argument, a Toulmin argument, another annotated bibliography once you've developed further sources and a Rogerian argument so again make sure it's a topic you care about of course all of these are off limits so don't use any of them and if there's a question on your topic that you have in mind reach out to me by text 812-498-4200 and we'll talk it over and I'll let you know if I think it's a topic that is worth pursuing in my previous class in the spring semester I had a student that approached me who said she wanted to write about human trafficking and I told her that was not a good proposal for a couple of reasons number one I think there's universal agreement that human trafficking is bad there may be some who are in favor of human trafficking but they are criminals and we don't listen to them but the biggest problem with all of these topics and with the topic of human trafficking in the course of writing your persuasive essays you will be required to give both sides of an issue and obviously taking a stand on what you believe but you also have to weigh the merits of what the other side believes and what the other side believes has to be credible as well and you I told this student and I'm explaining it to you as well you can't find a credible academic source that thinks human trafficking is a great idea those people don't exist so 
as you're considering your topic, make sure it's one that credible sources have two different perspectives, maybe three, but still, it has to be one upon which there is a legitimate argument. Because this is a proposal and not an essay, you don't have to write it in MLA format. You can go ahead and put the MLA header on the top, which is your name, my name, the class code, and the date. That's fine, but you don't have to write this as an essay, and you'll see that when I show you the example. You also need to include your organization. You can use a bullet list explaining what you're going to explore. First of all, give me a summary of what the argument is then the bullet list of what you intend to explore. Explain, as it states here, why you're interested in this topic. Excuse me, wrong line. Why you're interested in this topic, because it helps me understand your perspective. <coughs> Excuse me. And then give me not an annotated bibliography, but a summary of some of the sources that you intend to use, or at least you will use to start your research. And this will make a little more sense when I show you the example. It does say provide a reference or works cited page using MLA 8th edition showing at least three sources. Of course you can use more but give me at least three so I know that you have started to think about where you're going to find the documents upon which you will build your essay. If you decide later that one, two, or all of these three sources are not up to snuff that's fine, you can change them out later, but at least show me that you've begun to look. And if you're not familiar with writing a works cited page, well, it's in the example that I'm about to show you. But if you need help with that, again, reach out to me by text. I'll talk you through it. Make sure you print this. It's pretty important you're going to be referring back to it often. So here's the sample topic proposal. Again, not a perfect one, but one that's pretty good. And this particular student, I recall, was an OB nurse, and she wrote about the importance of women who are pregnant or might become pregnant carrying the infant to full term, 40 weeks. And I thought it was also a very interesting topic. In other words, this student was arguing that the induction of labor or a expectant mother getting a C-section for their own convenience is actually doing some harm to the infant rather than letting the pregnancy end naturally. Again, a very interesting topic. Let's go this direction. There we go. Now it looks better. So here is her topic summary. What she intends to learn, including an interesting question, why do so many physicians continue to induce earlier than 40 weeks? That's very interesting and also tells me why she's interested in this topic because she works in the field of labor and delivery. She tells me where she intends to search. Those are some very good journals. She also tells me that she intends to look at the credentials of the writer to make sure that it is a credible and scholarly source. Newsweek might be of interest but for this particular topic probably not such a good source. So she's better off going to this particular journal. And notice, and I, I haven't mentioned this before, in this class and in college and in your academic career, Wikipedia is never to be used. We don't trust Wikipedia. I know a lot of us, including me, sometimes might go on Wikipedia just to look up a, something very briefly like what was Thomas Jefferson's birthday. Okay, I can probably rely upon that. But in this class, we never, ever use Wikipedia. And that's not just in this class. That is in your academic career. If I see Wikipedia listed as a source, I'm going to make fun of you. Okay, well, I probably won't do that. But just don't do it. And this is her reference page. This should actually say works cited. Well, I guess reference is okay because this isn't a paper. But these are pretty well done. You always start with the author's name, last name first and they are alphabetized. This one is listed first because it is an, an individual, not a journal. And you always indent the second line. I'm sure a lot of you know this because you've already taken English 111, but this is a decent example of what they should look like. 
you can print this off, excuse me, you can print this off if you'd like and refer back to it. Your topic proposal will be due on Patriot Day, which is Sunday, September 11th. And when your topic proposal is ready, go to this link and attach it as a file. Everyone's been pretty good about that so far. Again, never add your topic proposal here. You don't have to use any comments at all if you'd like. If you do, you can say simply, hey Mark, here's my topic proposal, but even that's not necessary. And I will review it. And I will review these more towards is your topic viable? Of course, I will check your style and make sure that your sources are listed correctly, but I am really going to be interested in making sure that this is something you can write about for the balance of the semester. So I know I'm repeating myself, but again, this is very important because you're going to write about the same topic the rest of the class. Make sure it's a good one. And if you're unsure, ask. And I believe that's it for this session. Again, I don't go through everything in these videos. I want to hit the highlights and the key points. So one discussion board, a lot of reading, and then submitting your topic proposal. How do we stay in touch? Well, you know the answer to that. Text me at 812-498-4200. Email me at m-s-t-e-n-g-e-r and the number 1 at ivytech.edu. If you want to call me, it's 800-416-1747. I hope everyone has a great Labor Day, and I'll see you around.